Hi, it's Gwen. Okay, so I have a confession to make. This summer, I totally did not read everything that I wanted to read. I just think I've been playing catch up this summer with shows and books and spending time with my family and friends, so I have not read nearly enough. But for the books that I did read, I thought I would share them with you and give a mini review of each. So let's get started. The first book that I read this summer is The Husband's Secret. I heard great things about this book and I picked up this book because of all the buzz about this book. And while I enjoyed it, it was okay. I rated it a three out of five stars. It wasn't exactly what I was expecting. In this book, Miss Fitzpatrick finds a letter that her husband left her in case that he died. And the secret wasn't exactly what I was expecting either. So maybe I had built the book up in my head. So I don't want to leave, you know, any spoilers or anything like that. But it wasn't what I was expecting. It kind of, the story flips back and forth between different people's perspective and I'm kind of sort of getting tired of those type of books, to be honest, so three out of five stars. And the second book, Don't Make Fun of Me. Don't Make Fun of Me. I know I should have read this book four years ago, okay? I know. But the second book that I read this summer was Mockingjay. I know. I said don't make fun of me. But here it is. The reason why it took me so long to read this book is because a friend of mine wanted us to um, read it together so we could discuss the book. Um, obviously, I've read the other books, and then I kind of got stagnant and waited on this book, trying to wait for her to finish up some other books that she wanted to read first. So, yeah. Mockingjay. Rated it 4 out of 5 stars. It wasn't my favorite. Catching Fire was my favorite out of the series. Um, but I can't wait until the movie comes, well, the movies, I guess they're doing it in two parts. Um, I'm excited for the movies, so at least I read it before the movies. The second, the third book that I read this summer was Eleanor and Park. And I have to say, hands down, hands down, hands down, my favorite book of the summer, so much so that it has been added to my all-time favorite books. I don't know what it was about this. It was just amazing, amazing, amazing. If you haven't read it, I definitely, 10 out of 10, recommend you pick it up. Awesome book. The next book that I read was Where'd You Go, Bernadette? And this book was another book that I kind of heard a little bit of buzz about and again it's told from multiple points of view and did I say I was getting sick of that type of book yeah I'm getting sick of that type of book this book basically is about a girl that mother kind of disappears and she's looking for her and she's looking through old letters and diary entries, etc. to find out where did my mom go? Why is she missing? Um, it was okay. I, again, it's another three out of five book for me. While it was good, nothing really stood out. I didn't hate it, but I don't know. I'm just... I think I'm tired of the multiple points of view books, so three out of five stars. The fifth book that I read this summer was Ladies' Night by Mary Kate Andrews. I actually won this book in a giveaway featured on Lisa's Book Critiques blog and ended up getting sent a prize package from the publisher, including this book. I rated this book a four out of five stars. I kind of enjoy... Um, light contemporary chiclet reads during the summer and this was the perfect um, book to follow up a disappointing book and I kind of had that trend where I read a, eh, a really good and then of course I had no idea how Eleanor Park was going to be and that was amazing and then a meh and then a pretty good one so um, it fit right into the summer theme because it's a light read nothing too in depth it's a one one size fits all book. Um, so four out of five stars. The next book that I read um, is Will Grayson, Will Grayson. <sighs> Another book told from two perspectives. I'm sick of it. 
So much so that, yeah, another three out of five stars. Three out of five stars to me means meh is what it means. And that's what I thought about this book. The concept, maybe when they wrote it, it was fresh and new. But now I've read The Husband's Secret, Eleanor and Park, Where'd You Go Bernadette, and this one. And they're all told from multiple points of view. Seriously? If I read another multiple points of view book? Arr! So, this is about two boys that have the same name, that end up meeting, and how their lives intertwine, and yeah, it was meh. So, I had this whole meh. Read this, good. Loved it. Meh. Liked it. Meh. So I was like, seriously? I need a book that I know I'm going to like. So I was shopping at Target one day, and I came across a Mary Kay Andrews book, the new, the, one of the newest releases, Save the Date. And I was like, oh, this is when I was reading this. And I was like, no, I'm not going to pick it up. I have a million other books on my bookshelf to read. Not going to do it. Yeah, so didn't get it. Then I go back, like a couple weeks later, I don't even know how long it was. I go back, I see it again. This time I see this. Signed edition. Yeah, so I pretty much had to get it at that point because I knew I was eventually going to get it. I just didn't know when. And now that it was signed and it was sitting right in front of me at Target, yeah, I pretty much had to get it. So yeah, so my next and last book that I read this summer so far is Save the Date by Mary Kay Andrews, another book that I knew was going to be good because I know the type of stories that she writes and I enjoy them. They're easy to get through, the stories are, you know, one size fits all, they're not trilogies or part of a series, and yeah, so of course I loved it. This one, um, I also gave a four out of five stars. So if you like kind of chick lit contemporary books, check out Mary Kay Andrews. Um, this is, I think, the fourth book or the fifth book that I have of hers now. And um, I pretty much want to get all of her other books because I know that they're going to be easy, fast reads and that I basically know what the story is going to be like. And I enjoy that about a book every once in a while. So those are the books that I have read so far this summer. Um, I don't even know if you can see them all. Okay, there. Those are the books that I have read so far this summer. Um, I'm currently reading Thanks for the Memories, which I have not rated yet because I'd like to, of course, finish a book before I read it. Um, I'm about two-thirds into it. So we'll see what happens there. And I'm hoping to squeeze at least one more book in before school starts on the 25th. Wish me luck. So, yeah. So that wraps up my summer reads. And what have you been reading this summer? I'd love to hear. Also, take a moment and subscribe to my channel. I know I'm new, but I hope to have some great content for you coming up this fall. And see you next time. Bye.